All right, guys, and welcome to episode 22 of this Road to Glory series with Sheffield Wednesday. So we are at the business end of the season now. We have only got five games left to play. Last episode, we got, what were it, six points out of a possible nine, losing to Stoke in the opening game, and then managed a victory over Aston Villa 2-1, I think that finished, and a 1-0 win over Nottingham Forest. In today's episode, let's have a quick flick at the calendar. We start away at Leeds so we're travelling to Elland Road before heading down to Norwich and we will round off the game with a round off the game round off the episode with a home game against Bristol City the final two games in season one for the next episode are going to be Preston away so we have to unfortunately travel to De Preston and we finish the season at home against QPR not going to think too much about the end of the season just yet though we're going to think about the games in this episode this leads one another big game they were we played them very early on in season didn't we can't remember how we got on against them but from what i remember we struggled a little bit at the start of this career mode looking at uh, struggling to gel with new players put them all together now though completely different team it'd be interesting to see how we get on against them here we go then time for game number one Let's uh, see how we get on travelling to Ellen Road to face Leeds. Leeds not in the top six, so they're not vying for promotion at minute, although they could be in seventh. Who knows? But I want to keep them out at top six because winning means that we keep first place, doesn't it? Leeds United line up then. Blackman, Coyle, Berardi, Janssen, Douglas, Phillips, Harrison, Forshaw, Click, Alioloski and Roof. Got the line-up at home. It is a 4-5-1. Same formation that Villa used when they visited us. Couple of changes for us. Fructal, Gumney, Hector, Ampadu, Foyf, Penny, Tenali, Zadas, Reach, Harland and Winall. Shaparenko doesn't make the team at all due to fatigue, which is why Zadas is in the starting lineup. Alioski, back to Phillips. Douglas, inside to click. Well done. Here's Winall. Try and keep order it. Reach fruit middle. Oh, look at all this space that Adam Reach has got. And he goes for a chip. That were cheeky. Probably shouldn't have done that, really, should I? When I saw keeper off his line, I couldn't help it. And if that had have gone in, we'd have all been laughing. So, <laughs> well won in air by Tenali. Ball falls to Phillips, though. Here's Harrison. For sure. Oh, Zadas letting Coyle get away. Heads, well done, Fife. Ball comes to Roof. Ooh, I actually thought that had gone in from Click. Again, lots of problems being caused by this five-man midfield from Leeds. Same issue as we had against Villa. Again, narrowly wide, this time from Roof. Phillips onto Harrison again. There's Roof. And Purdue goes in strong, but fair. Looking over at top for reach, and it's keeper's ball, that, in it? Yep, too much on it. It was a nice bit of play, but weren't meant to be. Here's Winall. Looks onto Harland, or... Oh, we got that wrong way around, didn't I? It is Winall this time, and he's blazed wide. Sam, 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 Sam. Don't expect Sam Winall to miss like that. Tenali. Forward. Harland. Zadas on for Winall. This time he don't miss. Ball's in back at net. He is onside. Let's just grab the ball. Could have ran up top and celebrated with Wednesday fans then really, couldn't I? Zadas through to Winall as well. Zadas proving instrumental in this game when he's playing again. Maybe we should try and keep him around. Minimum of three minutes of added time. Well done, Zadas, although he puts the ball out. Our passing accuracy is pretty damn low looking at that. Could do with being better. That's putting it mildly. There is the whistle anyway. That is half time at the break. Wednesday lead, Leeds United 1 0. Substitution time then. Gumney is going off with Ashley Baker coming on in his place and Barnow Baudry comes on in place of Adam Reach. Do we find some more? Well, I suppose we have got some youth players ready to come in at some point, but I want to grow them first. 
I'll tell you something though, Baker's pretty quick. And that is a positive with this lineup, this formation. Is win all. Can he get number two? No, he can't. Great save by Blackman. Well done, Zadas. Although it's nowhere near any Wednesday players. That were uh, quite a terrible pass, weren't it? That one weren't, though. Come on, R now. Oh, Blackman saves. And Haaland's not happy. Haaland back to Baudry. Haaland knocked on for Winall. Oh, it's gone through to Baudry. I didn't expect that. I were hoping it would go back to Haaland. I mean, I can't complain. We got shots off, but still. When you're expecting one thing and then something else happens. It's not ideal, is it? There's Zadas. Tenali. Back to Tenali. Pass cut out. Zadas cuts it out again. Here's Winall. And there we go. Haaland buries it for goal number two for us. Can't really celebrate with Wednesday fans, can I? Because they're all way at the other end of pitch. Leeds fans do not sound happy. And I can't really blame them either because they're being demolished 2 0 at home by Sheffield Wednesday. Nicely took goal by Haaland, though. Do you think he's finally found his shooting boots? Since he keeps shooting on target recently. Click. Forward by Hernandez. There's Roof. Through Zadas's legs. In the header. Well done, 1 5. Easily claimed by Fructal. Hector. Baker brings ball forward. Hey, he's nice and quick, this kid. Can't pass for Toffee, though. Does keep it in, but there's the referee's whistle. Leeds United nil, Sheffield Wednesday two, and we all ate Leeds scum. Yes, we all ate Leeds scum. Come on, Wednesday. And Stoker right there we is because they have just battered Rotherham United 4-1. They're uh, matching pace we is, aren't they? Neck and neck at minute. Stoke, they're on a tear as we are. Well, that's not a good sign. Jan Fieter Arp's complaining that he's not getting... Uh, the game time he were promised. I mean, I think he's getting plenty of game time. He only got rested in that last game because he were uh, tired. Still, we'll put him back in starting lineup. I want to actually try a game without win all on the pitch because moving forward into season two, you'd think that Arp and Harland are going to be our main strike force. So we'll see how them two get on get next to each other in this next game. And more good news, Wagnerman has returned from injury and can return to training. Not going to put him straight in starting lineup unless we have to. We'll see what Gumney's fitness is like. We might play Baker instead, but it's nice to have him back fit. Game number two of this episode then, we are away at Norwich. Another team that are not in the top six, but that's not going to be make it an easy game by any stretch. Aren't Norwich first in championship in real life at minute? So, like a tit, I completely forgot to show you the uh, lineups at the start of this one, so we'll do it this way. Cruel is in the net with Paslak, Zimmerman, Duarte and Lewis in defence. A midfield of Tribal and McLean with Marshall, Cantwell and Buendia behind Pucky up front. Our lineup, couple of changes then. Arp and Harland are up front, as you can see. Pellegrini comes in at left back and Shaparenko returns to the uh, midfield three. Other than that, unchanged. Gumney fit enough to keep first place at right back for this game. Shaparenko, reach. Knocked on for Pellegrini. Pellegrini caught in possession by McLean. And then he does brilliantly to win it back. It's Tenali. Oh, reach. Yeah, I'd love to be able to say that I could like leave Reach on bench and play Baudry. But we know for a fact that Baudry is not quite good enough for that yet. And do we really want to be taking chances on players that are definitely not good enough? Leaving better players on bench. I don't think we do. That's what worries me. Here's Pucky. Another player that's in top 10 in terms of goals scored. And you can see why with that shot. Fructal did well. Buendia keeps on at ball. And this time we get it away. 
Only as far as Cresswell though, Fructal safe hands, well done kid. Shaparenko, did well, kept order it, Harland, reach, back to Tenali, to Harland again. But Shaparenko with a shot and Tribal got a foot in and that'll be a corner. It's Buendia and Gumni is the one that gets the ball clear, knocked on for reach. And there's Jan Fieter up. Is he onside? He is. Reach. Oh, great save by Tim Krull. Thought that deserved a goal for Haaland. Thought we'd got a goal for Haaland as well, won't lie. Up knocks that on for Shaparenko, though. It's not over just yet. And get the cross in. And that's away. Back in by Shaparenko. And Duarte clears the ball this time. Ball comes in. And well done, Gumney. Harland wins the header. Knocked on for reach. Shaparenko knocking it on for Arp. And he has kept order it. No, he hasn't. <laughs> Thought he had. Cantwell. Pucky. Cantwell again. Back to McLean. And Shaparenko went in, didn't win the ball though. There's Pucky and there's the referee's whistle. At half time, it is Norwich City nil, Sheffield Wednesday nil. And speaking of chances, reach onto Arp. Oh, it's hit back at net, but we were lucky. Then again, I'll take luck. We got lucky with deflections then though. It were a well worked bit of football. Reach back to Arp, and it took a wicked deflection off. I think it was past lack. I'm sure that's going to go down as an own goal. Yep, that's going to go down as an own goal. Arp shot, we're going off target. Take that all the way back to Pellegrini, just to get some space. Seems as there were no other options on, really. There's Shaparenko, Reach, Arp onto Harland. Back to Reach. There's Arp again, and final pass, let us down. Perhaps it were one pass too many. Well done, Shaparenko. Making up for his mistakes in the first half with his performance in this one. Quick one-touch football at the minute. I like it, although when one touch is a touch from an opposition player, it's not so good, is it? We are surviving perfectly well that we are at Sam Winall up front at the minute, aren't we? So now we need to hope that Sam Winall is going to be happy with a sort of backup role heading into season two. Because I don't think we've actually got a striker on box in youth team. We'll have to see what we can pick up in terms of free agents, I suppose, and other regens and new gens, like youth prospects from other clubs. Or oh, Reach should have played a through ball instead of a pass. And Purdue, did he get a touch on that? He did. It's gone out for a corner. We are making the first sub of the game. Then Shaparenko going off and Harvey Alexander coming on. Threads it through for Alexander. Knocked on for Arp. And Haaland straight at the keeper. Oh, head that away. Well done, Gumney. Head it and go. Harvey Alexander did well in end then as well to clear that. And is Arp on side? That is the question. Looks like you were, but there's nobody to pass to. Reach puts it back in and Duarte hacks it away. Puck it to McLean. Back to Hernandez. 87 minutes on clock. Narrow 1-0 lead so far. Zimmerman, Buendia, well done lads, upfield, cut out again by a Norwich player, admittedly, but we got it upfield and put an end to an attack, Norwich with chance to start again, there's McLean, Fructal, that's yours, all day long. And wellied upfield, and that is the final whistle. Norwich City nil, Sheffield Wednesday 1. We are keeping pressure on at the top. We are forcing Stoke to try and keep up with us, and that is the most we can do. Now we just need to wait and see how Stoke got only their game.
and Stoke clearly won their game as well because they are still three points behind us. How tight is this? Is it going to go down to the last game of the season? Or the last two, I suppose. Because by in goal difference terms, I think we're well ahead. Either way, it is incredibly tight and it is going to go right down to wire, isn't it? Alright, game number three of three for this episode then. One of the last three games remaining as well. So remember, the next episode will just be two games. It'll be uh, That'll bring us to the end of season one. Let's see if we can keep the momentum going and grab three points at home against Bristol City. Our lineup heavily rotated for this one. Then we start with Fructal in goal, Vagnerman, Hector Lees, Fife, Penny, McTominay, Zadis, Baudry, Harland and Arp. As you can see, Baudry coming in, Zadas coming in, McTominay coming in, Penny coming in, Lees coming in, Vagnerman returning. Heavy, heavy rotation for this game due to fatigue. Hopefully that won't cost us. Bristol City lineup: Martinez, Pizano, Callas, Wright, Kelly, Brownhill, Smith, Pack, Eliasson, Wyme, Vyman, and Diadiu. Diadiu. Four four two. Proper traditional English formation. There's Brownhill. Well done, Tom Lees. Although it only falls as far as Smith. There's Diadiu. Well done, Tom Lees again. And Harland gets a foot to it. Baudry managed to refind the ball when Zadas lost it, but Zadas couldn't keep hold of it for a second time. Is this going to be one of them games where uh, Zadas goes back to being absolutely shocking and we remember why we wanted to sell him? Because he's done well whenever we've played him in that midfield position, hasn't he? But is he going to get exposed as a fraud in the other players around him we're covering oof Smith just wide Baudry still in possession knocked on to Arp Zadas still got the ball how did he still have the ball and now well we've still got it but <laughs> Baudry gives it away every time I press the pass button then Summer happened to stop Zadas from actually making the pass, like the player tried to jostle him off at ball, so it didn't happen. And in end, we very nearly tried to walk it into goal, didn't we? Ref, thank you. Take that defensive free kick. Chance to uh, slow things down a bit. And there's the half time whistle. That slows things down quite a lot, doesn't it? At the break, Sheffield Wednesday nil, Bristol City nil. There's Vyman, Smith, Vyman again, Brownhill, Smith, Vyman. Is anybody going to try and challenge? Poor shot in end. Vagnerman, knock forward for McTominay. Oh, McTominay, what a touch then. And did Fife get a block then? It looks like it's a corner. It is a corner. Ball comes in and it's headed away. His touch just took ball away from him. There's Brownhill. Ball crossed in and Fife heads that away. Harland wins the header. Oh, McTominay. Luckily, Baudry with the hit to uh, get hold of that. And Zadas sees Penny. We get the cross. Falls to Baudry. And Baudry sticks it in back at net. Come on, my son. There's me talking about being worried about playing youth players instead of first teamers to get them experience. And it's a youth player that gets us a goal. Ah, tight with the angle on that as well. Little dinked cross from Penny. He takes it on his chest and volleys it into back at net. Where's that skill come from? What a shot. Substitution time then. Zadas going off for Harvey Alexander and Jan Fieter Arp goes off for Sam Winall. Paisano's just gone off. Hunt come on. Wagnerman gets the header but he only heads it down into the ground and ball comes back in. Well done Hector. Here is Winall. Knocks it on for Baudry. Seats runner Harland. Oh, Harland, that pass was 
awful. Very nearly used an F bomb then to describe just how bad it were. Managed to catch Basson. I know he's tired, but still. Whole team's tired, Sunshine. There's no excuse for passes like that. Well done, McTominay. Unlucky Baudry. Pack. Looking to lump that off at top. And Vagnerman is there to deal with it. Lees gets it away. McTominay onto Vagnerman. There's Harvey Alexander. Baudry. Win all. Looking for Haaland. Finds him. And that's two. That's how you kill off a game and guarantee the three points. Now if we can just grab the ball. Apparently we can't. <laughs> Just nice counter-attacking football then. Haaland in so much space and he's found his shooting boots, hasn't he? It's took him long enough. It's took him nearly a full season, but Haaland has found out how to score goals. Through to Alexander. There's Penny. We get cross in and it was Baudry again. We're shot from about Penny Cross. Come on, ref. There we go. There is the referee's whistle. Sheffield Wednesday 2, Bristol City 0. Two games left in season one. And we are at least three points clear at top of table. And as we can see there, it is going right down to wire. Stoke picked up another victory in their last game. There are two games left. Another win will hopefully guarantee us the league on goal difference. So hopefully if we beat Preston in the next episode, we'll get to see the celebration of winning the championship. Oh, no pressure then, Wasley. But that is next episode, not this one, isn't it? So for now, we are going to leave things there, guys. Decent episode. Three victories out of three. Couldn't really ask any more of my lads, could I? That is all we can do. All we can do is win games and hope for the best. If other teams around us win, so be it. If they lose, even better. We'll see how the season ends in the next episode this is pretty much the well this is the penultimate episode of season one isn't it if you enjoyed it guys twat that thumbs up button and don't forget to twat that subscribe button to keep up with this career mode and the others that we've got running at minute social media links are all in the description feel free to follow me and other than that cheers for watching guys and as usual i'll see the next episode